everyone. Uh, we're back to our first um, free class section in which we're going to be building uh, our database. Uh, so to start building your database, you want to go to the data tab here on the left pane. Um, and you will see data types, privacy, app data, option sets, and file manager. Uh, for this section, we're going to be focusing on data types. Uh, we will cover a little bit of everything. Um, in future sections, but uh, we won't touch much on um, privacy or the file manager. Uh, we will mainly be focusing on data types, app data, and option sets. Um, just to give you a, a brief overview of what each one does, and this is where you set up your custom fields for your database. App data is where your actual data will be in, and op option sets, um, those are going to be where you would probably want to use um, options that are static and that doesn't change much. Going back to data types for this uh, specific project, we're going to be building a directory similar, similar to Yelp or TripAdvisor. Um, there are many WordPress and themes that are really popular in this category. And I believe that Bubble can do a much better job at designing those type of sites than what you can achieve with most of these um, themes and plugins that are available for WordPress. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a user type that comes by default. And uh, you can see it here that comes by default um, with your installation. And there is nothing that you will have to add at this moment on that end. Uh, for the second data type, uh, that will be our restaurants. So all you want to do is you want to type on uh, the name of the data type that you want to use, and you can either click Enter, or you can click on Create. Uh, the third data type we're going to be using is going to be Reviews. Uh, we're going to make this fairly simple. So we're going to keep it at three. Um, now we're going to go back to our data type on uh, User, and for the user, we will want to create a name and that will be the type test and we're going to create and next one we want to create a i'm sorry a photo and that will be the user's um, profile picture so you can either call it photo or profile picture uh, we will call it profile picture for now and last one, you want to create a submitted uh, reviews. Uh, this will be a data type reviews. So here, uh, you can select um, a test, a number, a numeric range, a date that would be kind of like a calendar, a date range, date interval, yes or no, this is a Boolean, um, true or false. Uh, you can have users of the files, images, geographic addresses, or you can have them um, link to other parts of the database. So um, another user, a restaurant, which is a type that we created here, uh, reviews, which is a data type that we, we created here, and then everything else down here is going to be based on the plugins that you have installed. Uh, so for this one, it's going to be reviews. Now, most users will be using more than one review. So for this one, uh, we're going to be using, we're going to be telling Bubble that this specific portion of the database is a list. So there, there might be more than one reviews that are added into, into the database for that specific user. So there we go. Uh, and you want to hit create. Now for user, this is all we're going to do for now. There are much more data that you can add, so you can ask them for date of birth, um, and you can do a date, or you can ask them for um, username, and you can do a test, or maybe you want to know which city they live in, and that might be a good use for option sets. And if you create an option set called city, 
actually let's do that uh, so city uh, say new York city and hosting actually let's do cities in Texas San Antonio and then you are Houston So if we go back, let's add a city. Let's see which city this user is from. Uh, then here you go. As you can see, uh, there is a new option available for you. It's called city and it's based on the option set. We will select city. And there is only one city that the, the user can be from. Uh, technically it can be for more, but uh, we will give it uh, one for simplicity. Uh, here on the right side, you can select default. So basically, if you believe that most users are going to be from Dallas, you can select Dallas. That means if you set Dallas as default, that means that if they don't make a selection, the system will tag them as being from Dallas. So be careful with that. Um, most of the defaults, I use them for Boolean. So yes or no, um, let's say, um, I want to make a privacy setting in which I ask them, hey, do you want to use two-factor authentication? I set up uh, the default to be yes, and they can change it to no, or I can set it up no, and again, they can change it to yes. Uh, it just depends on the user uh, preference. So we're done with the user data field. Uh, we're going to move on to the restaurant uh, for restaurant. Uh, we got restaurant name and does it does feel uh, we got a restaurant description again does it does uh, we got a city in which they are located again we can use the option set it doesn't matter if you already use it for users it's just a piece of data that is static that the user can select from in drop down menus um and here we want to upload the logo uh, here is an image um a website it's going to be a test a phone number uh, even though phone number is most people might select numbers i personally like to select test it's a little bit easier to handle I use numbers for numbers that I need to do calculation with. It doesn't mean that I'm right. I just that the way I learn it. Um, address. For the address, we want to use your graphical address uh, that allows you to use the Google API later on. Um, Fisher image. Uh, some people call it uh, cover image, and you will see where we will use those. Uh, you can either make it one or more. I would make it one for simplicity. Uh, then reviews. Uh, where is it? Reviews. And this will be list because assumption is that there will be more than one review for that specific restaurant. And lastly, uh, let's do a price range. Uh, and that would be a numeric range. Now for the last part, uh, we're going to be completing the review portion of the database. Uh, so for the review, you want a title. Uh, you want the content, which is what the user will be writing about the restaurant, and that would be a test too. Uh, you want to know the restaurant that they're talking about, uh, that they're leaving the review for. So restaurants, that would be one restaurant. And now their rating. And for the rating, uh, we will be using a number. Uh, let's do other rating. If we need to change that later, we can. Again, you know, you just go here and change it. No big deal. Uh, 
Uh, that didn't work, but how would I write it? There you go. And that's all we have for this portion of the database. Uh, this is how you create your database. And the expectation is, for those of you that are taking my course, the expectation is that you complete this portion before you start the course on April 9. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there in the description below, you can see on the link for the course. It's completely free. We will be building a directory website. If you missed it and you're watching this video after April, uh, let's see, 16, okay. after April 23rd, uh, which is the last section, uh, I will be posting those recordings here on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell so you get notifications about this channel. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Um, if you have questions, concerns, please leave them in the comments. I do my best to respond them uh, within 24 hours. So thank you for watching.